Michelle. I'm presenting my undergraduate research work from Yale. Um, so my research focuses on an inherited auto-inflammatory disorder called familial Mediterranean fever. This is a disorder of, um, it's caused by mutations in a protein called pyrin, and this manifests itself in acute self-limiting attacks of inflammation. So we know that the disease is caused by mutations in the pyrin protein, but we don't know how those mutations translate to the symptoms that we see in patients. So that's what this study tried to discover. Um, so I started by taking cells from both un unaffected controls and FMF patients. The first thing we did was localize the pyrin protein to see where it was in the cell. And we saw very different localizations between healthies and patients of the disease. So one example can be seen here. Um, pyrin is in green and actin, a protein that controls cell migration, is seen here. In patients, pyrin and actin seem to have the same localization pattern. And you can see this in both patients. This is not true in control. So that's one difference that um, allowed us to hypothesize that pyrin's function in the disease has something to do with cell migration. Another thing we saw is that the polarization of neutrophils was greatly increased when pyrin was mutated. And that's in these two patient colors here. So we saw that pyrin was associated with actin and that as a result the, the neutrophils were much more activated. They were crawling around faster and they had greater, um, they also had less adhesion rate, so they stuck to the glass much less. So we took all of this together and we were able to make some theories as to how the mutation affects the disease and what that can mean for possible future therapeutics. Another potential benefit of this research is as a diagnostic. So currently, FMF is mainly a clinical diagnosis. Uh, it's just the symptoms and the physician's knowledge of the disease that allow the patient to become diagnosed and to receive treatment. If we use these um, localization patterns of pyrin, we can see that people, even if they don't show mutations, if their neutrophils are behaving like FMF neutrophils, we might be able to develop a therapy that will work for them.